yes you're welcome you're welcome i appreciate the likes i appreciate uh you subscribing to my channel thank you thank you so much so in this video i'll be showing you the fastest and the safest way to calculate the square meter of your roof on site safest in the sense that you don't have to be climbing the rooftop to take the necessary dimension you need so i'll be breaking this video down into three parts in the first part we'll be developing a sketch using this building as a sample we develop a sketch and we get our dimensions for the building in the second video i'll be showing you how we calculate the square meter of the roof using three major elementary formulas while the third part of the video will be an option to to the second part of the video where we'll be calculating the square meter of the roof without using any formula so join me as we progress so all right the first thing we want to be doing now is to create a sketch we want to develop an isometric view from this ex existing building so what we want to do now is create the sketch so let's go I have the length of the building here yes i know we may not have a very good uh camera angle to show the entire building but by, by the time i'm done sketching the building you have a good view of what the old building looks like so this is me sketching the parapet of this building all right so this is the parapet of the of the building. This is the parapet of the building. So I just sketched it now. So this is the plan view. So I want to develop the roof. So the first thing I want to do is develop the seat out. It'll be a lot faster when you're using a pen and paper. So pardon my my inaccuracies and uh, the speed at which i'm drawing so the next thing we want to do now so we just developed this seat out here yeah? next thing we want to do now is develop the main building so it's quite easy all right we're almost done we're almost done good we're done so now we're done sketching how the building looks like. So we've developed a sketch. The next thing we want to do now is create a dimension. Now, if you have your tape, you want to take your tape and measure the building around from, from the ground. You don't have to climb up to do that. But then if you don't have your tape, it's easier for you using your phone. I dropped the link to my Instagram page below. You see a video where I showed you how to use your phone in measuring, taking the measurements of your building it's not difficult at all you can click on the link below to watch the video so um as me i've taken the measurement the dimension of this parapet now so i want to just label my sketch so i'm taking this place to be 10 meters obviously here is equals to this place so i just want to put this place as 10 meters too oh no I think this much better. I'm gonna be taking this place as eight meters. Taking this place as six meters. Taking this place as six meters. So, so when you sum all these together, eight plus six plus six, that's twenty. So you don't want to go here and take the measurements again. So, so that's it. Then, okay yeah i want to take the measurements of this place let's take this place as three meters if here is three meters here will be three meters too so here will be three meters too all right so we have three meters three meters three meters so yeah we're done with the dimension of the parapet the next thing we want to do is take the measurements of this ridge cap so most of the time we use 1.1 or one meter spacing for this ridge cap of this rafter, this, this is the rafter. 
So this is the beginning of the reach curve. This is the end of the top reach. Then you count the space in between this rafter. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to multiply it by 1.1 meters. So you have 11.1 .1 meters for our top reach. Yes, so you want to pick an arrow. Excuse me. So we have 11.1 .1 meters here. So, so next thing we want to do is get the slanting height of this place. So that's here to here. So you want to count your polling spacing, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's 19, then you multiply it by 0 0.36. Why are we multiplying by 0 0.36? Because 0 0.36, 0 0.36 is same thing as 14 inches. And, uh, and that's the... That's the breadth of our roofing tiles. That's the width of our roofing tiles. So that's 6.84. And you want to approximate it to give you 6.9. So we're going to be using 6.9 here. 6.9 meters. meters all right and uh, this point nine meters so the, the slanting ITA is also sitting at this place so we want to get the same thing here too most of the time here is always here but not all the time. That's if the carpenter does not follow the proper woodwork. So what I'm just trying to say in essence is that you should count your space into your, your polling space into and multiply it by 0 0.36. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be using the same slanting height. So let's take this place as 6.9 meters too. All right. So I want to sketch. Yeah, the next thing we want to do is get a length here too. So we want to count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 times 0 0.36. 11 times. That's 3.96. I want to approximate it to 4 meters. I want to approximate it to 4 meters. Four meters. So, so yes, four meters. Part of my inaccuracy to sketch. So here we have it. We have uh, the major dimensions we need, but we're not done. We need this this reach length because we'll be needing it for the calculations we'll be doing. So now this is the first time you'll be applying. A formula now we need a Pythagoras theorem to get this remember we're trying to get these dimensions without having to climb up so obviously you'll be applying just one formula here the Pythagoras theorem so the Pythagoras theorem is symbol and I'll just break it down to you so let's just sketch out this triangle yeah let's sketch it out here let's say we have something like this something like this Okay, so we have a triangle there and uh let's call this let's call this length a let's call this length b let's call this length c so we have our a already which is four meters four meters our b will be half of c to not forget the idea is to get Our B will be half of six. 
So our B here will be three. Three meters. So we are looking for C. So how do we get C? So the formula for C is equals to square root equals to square root a square plus b square easy right yeah very easy so what's a a is uh four meters so we have uh, four meters four square plus three square so that equals to four square is 16 that's four times four is 16 and three square is three times three which is nine when you add it together you have a uh, 16 plus 9 will give you 25 so square root of 25 is equals to 5 so it's safe to say c is 5 so these are rich cap this are rich here is 5 so we have 5 meters so that's it you've developed a sketch from this building so we'll be using the sketch to calculate the square